once he understood Liverpool and Liverpool understood him. Simply a transformational leader. His ambitions match theirs, his clenched fist, his sparkling smile, his irresistible charisma and his approval by the man who, with a nod and a wink and a hug, has passed on across the generations Liverpool's baton of greatness. Please rewind. At once he understood Liverpool and Liverpool understood him. Simply a transformational leader. They've conquered Europe. They've won the UEFA Cup, three FA Cups, four League Cups. Welcome to Stay Productive with George where we explore everything productivity related. Suppose you're new here. Welcome. My name is George and I'm a scholar, development practitioner and content creator. Today, I want to discuss setting smart goals. What better way to understand this concept than by examining how Liverpool under Jürgen Klopp sets its goals. One of the most effective methods when setting goals is using the SMART criteria. This acronym stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. Let's break it down further. S stands for Specific, meaning the goal should be clear and well-defined. Liverpool, a team known for its success under Jurgen Klopp, sets specific goals for each competition it participates in. For example, if it is playing in a cup competition, its goal may be to win the cup or reach a specific round, a testament to its strategic planning and focus. M stands for measurable, which indicates that tangible metrics should be used to track progress. Klopp's team focuses on measurable performance metrics like goals scored, possession percentage, and shot accuracy. By tracking these metrics, they can identify areas for improvement and measure their progress towards their goals. A stands for achievable. This emphasizes that the goal should be realistic and attainable. Liverpool sets achievable targets based on their squad's capabilities and the level of competition. For example, they may set a goal to finish in the top four of the Premier League, as this is an achievable target based on their squad and the level of competition. R represents relevance. It highlights the importance of aligning the goal with the overall strategy. Klopp's tactics are always relevant to their competition, adapting strategies based on the opponent and the situation. This means that their goals are aligned with their overall strategy, which is to win as many games as possible and compete for trophies. Finally, T stands for time-bound. This indicates a clear deadline for achieving the goal. Liverpool sets time-bound objectives for each season phase, aiming to achieve specific milestones by specific dates. For example, they may aim to be in the top four by the season's halfway point. Before diving into how Liverpool sets their goals, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. This way, you won't miss any of my cool productivity videos that can help you improve your work efficiency and achieve your goals. In football, success is not merely a matter of chance. It results from meticulous planning, unwavering dedication, and setting smart goals. Jürgen Klopp, is renowned for his ability to set and achieve smart goals. He has guided his team to unprecedented success. Klopp ensures that Liverpool's goals are specific, focusing on winning specific competitions rather than vague aspirations. Measurable performance metrics are essential for tracking progress and identifying areas for improvement. By setting measurable goals, Klopp provides clear benchmarks for success motivating players to strive for continuous improvement. Achievable targets are crucial for maintaining morale and confidence within the team. Klopp's emphasis on achievable targets 
fosters a sense of belief and unity within the squad, driving them to exceed expectations. Relevant tactics tailored to each opponent ensure that Liverpool remains adaptable and resilient in facing different challenges. By setting smart goals, Jurgen Klopp has transformed Liverpool into one of the most formidable teams in world football, inspiring players and fans with their relentless pursuit of excellence. It's, uh, it's so good winning trophies. They're the moments that you remember when you retire, so they should really cherish this moment. It doesn't happen every day of the week. Sit back and enjoy it then. In the company at Anfield, Jim Beglin and Peter Drury.